What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, we're going to talk about why Terra Luna is set to get a massive upgrade with Astroport. Now first off guys, to understand why this is going to be a massive upgrade for Terra Luna, you need to understand what Astroport is and what they are looking to do. And guys, they got an airdrop too especially if you're one of them OG DeFi players on Terra Luna. If you guys were on this channel, well, you were one of the OG players. If not, maybe you got lucky. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and explain Astroport and what's up and what's going on. This will be a quick video, guys. I'll try to keep it nice and short. So this is basically what Astroport is looking to do. So first off, you have something like a Uniswap. Now, what is Uniswap? Well, let's go ahead and do this. So Uniswap is this, uh, X times Y equals K curve. And basically what happens is you have a 50-50 pool. It's evenly balanced, same junk, different day, nothing special. So you got 50 USDC and one Ethereum. That means that one Ethereum is worth 50 USDC. That's your 50-50. So if I go and buy some Ethereum, that's going to add more USDC to the pool, take Ethereum out. And say, for example, I take half of the ETH out and it's probably going to cost a little more than 25 bucks. We're just going to call it $50 for this example. So basically what will happen is I take out 0.25 ETH, or I'm sorry, 0.5 ETH, and then I throw in there $25. Now there is half an ETH, $75. Now half an ETH is worth $75. You guys get the point. Uh, that's a standard AMM. However, with Astroport, it's going to have some features that are similar to Balancer. Now, this is very important for Terra Luna because there's a ton of slippage, especially with new coins. And previously, with a traditional AMM, really the only way to get rid of that is just add more liquidity. So basically throw more money at it. But that's not really capital efficient. I mean, you could throw a bunch of money at it, but it's not capital efficient. There's a better way. So a curve that is <clears throat> has different weights. So similar to what Balancer does, um, Balancer can offer different weights to different pools. And this is important for newer coins that have no liquidity and a high slippage. Why is this important? Well, instead of doing 50-50, what you can do is you can do the pool like 90% of whatever the coin is you're trying to launch and like 10% Luna, a stable coin, or whatever you want to pair against it. Why is this important? Well, when people buy some of this coin and deposit Terra or UST, whatever's on the other side, it will not cause this price to explode or pump, or I'm sorry, not pump, but get destroyed because um, the, the pools are a little bit different. It's a liquidity bootstrapping pool. That's why they call them LBP. So this is to like get the initial liquidity. And it was typically tough for um, projects because if they wanted to launch their coin, if they wanted to launch, I don't know, a million dollars worth, they would have to put a million dollars worth of whatever it was on the other side. And that's a problem, especially for newer projects who can't afford this. So this is why this is going to be, in my opinion, a major catalyst on Terra Luna, because now we'll get small projects being able to launch their own coins using these LVP pool. To figure out which pool is the right fit for you, they do have a couple of different steps and I guess you can say targets you want to look at. First off is pair correlation. So two tokens that tend to move together is pair correlation. So like USDC and ETH, those do not move together. USDC is a stable coin and ETH is going up, <laughs> usually over time. Um, so with a pair correlation, uh, you can do like USDC and USDT. Those are similar coins. And now Astroport is also on top of just trying to be like a balancer pool. It's also having the functionality of Curve. And Curve is a huge, huge backbone to the DeFi ecosystem. Why is this? Well, who the pants wants to go to swap some USDC for USDT and lose like $100 if you're trading with $1,000 worth? No one wants 10% slippage. I mean, that's like utter wreckage. I mean, even 0.5% slippage, you're like, what the snap, I'm getting ripped off. Um, in reality, it's actually better than what it could be. So the point is, is like, you need little DeFi primitives like this. 
This is going to be like your curve slash balancer. Trust me. Of course, this is not financial advice, but having DeFi backbones like this just make DeFi on the chain explode. So here's the different pool types that Astroport is going to allow. It's going to allow constant pool products. So something that's same junk, different day. We already have that. Stable swap pools. So this is something we need on Terra. So now you're going to have like a curve AMM. So now all these people who have a bunch of USDC who want to get into uh, the Terra ecosystem, well, now they can swap their USDC for UST and they can play around on all these rides. And then lastly, the liquidity bootstrapping pool, which will allow smaller projects to be able to launch and have their tokens go and not have to pay so much upfront cost. I don't really need to explain um, how the, I mean, we can get into the constant products, but again, like I explained to you, it's the 50-50 pool. And then same thing with the, um, the stable coin pools. The stable coin pools, those are the same junk, different day. That's just like USDC, USDT, and pooling those two together. So it's two like assets being pooled together. And then lastly, the bootstrapping pools, these are good for providing initial liquidity for a token. And the reason why is because if you do 50-50, it will be like nuts and ham, like in a bad way. So now let's explain the value flow for Astroport, because you guys are probably asking yourself, why the snap would I want this coin? Well, first off, it is similar to like Sushi. So it's going to earn a portion of the protocol fees as well as being for governance. So this is how the trading flow is going to go. There is a 0.3% fee for just traditional coins. This is not for like your stable swap pairs. This is going to be for like any of the uh, Terra altcoins. So for example, like Pylon Protocol, Anchor Protocol, et cetera, you guys get the point. So a 0.2% fee will go to the LP for the relevant pool. So if you're providing liquidity, you're gonna get 0.2%. And then 0.1% is paid to the Astral Assembly. These are basically the people who hold X Astro. This is basically just your staked Astro. That's all. And then for the stable swap pairs, it's a 0.025% fee that's split two ways, so 50-50, for a total of 0.05%. So really low fees on uh, stable coins. Now what's really interesting is they have similar features to something like Spirit Swap and uh, uh, the VE curve model. Um, basically what's going to happen is when you stake your Astro into the X Astro pool, this will automatically be accruing um, more rewards. It'll be growing in price because over time Astro is thrown into the pool and being bought back, etc. So X Astro is actually an appreciating asset. And with the X Astro, you can actually choose to lock it or you can trade it. So X Astro is actually a tradable coin, so that can be moved around. However, you can lock this up and get the VX Astro. So locking it up, you'll get extra points, also give additional governance power, and get additional share of the trading fees. So something to keep in mind as well. And obviously you'll see more as it goes, uh, but here's an example of how it would look. So say for example, you lock your Astro up for two years, you basically get two times the amount you have up front um, because basically you're locking it in. So something to keep in mind. And basically after it fully unlocks, you'll have all your tokens back and that's it. So similar to like Spirit and in Spirit. And what is the utility for it? Well, it's used for different types of fee sharing and governance power. So with the governance power, you can actually vote to which pools get the most rewards. They're actually going to select like the top eight and obviously whichever one gets the most votes gets the most rewards out of them. So that is something to keep in mind. So TLDR on this Astro token, it is basically the, um, the value accrual for the Astroport ecosystem. Um, it's going to be getting some of those fees. It's like your share of the actual protocol. So like if the protocol is making a bunch of money, you get a percentage of it um, being a astro holder because it, it's governance it's just decentralized except now here's how you can break down the token itself um, you have astro which really has nothing it's just a trading coin then you have x astro this is a liquid token can be transferred and used as collateral it gets trading fees also has governance and then vx astro is just basically x astro on roids now here's something to keep in mind as well this is the supply distribution uh, you got 5% airdrop, 10% community reserves, 
30% to the joint venture and 55% to LPs. So this is actually a really well distributed coin. I mean, about 60% is literally just going to like the free people. Um, and to understand how this uh, actually worked, um, I highly recommend you guys look into this uh, Medium article right here. But basically TLDR on it um, is that if you were a early DeFi user um, or in the Terrify user, uh, like using Anchor Protocol, Mirror Protocol in the early days, uh, you would have actually gotten or would have had snapshots of this and you would get early allocations in this. And then also there is the lock drop. So like migrating your LPs from TerraSwap, that is going to be the second phase. And third is you can literally just pull the Astro and UST token and earn some of the LP rewards. But in my opinion, this is going to be a major catalyst for the Terra ecosystem because it's going to bring a lot of value. Why is that? Well, because there's a lot of people who have USDC or USDT and they're like, man, I like this Terra thing, but uh, it's just too bad. They don't have USDC over here. Well, as soon as we get a product like Curve or something like a balancer, now we're able to have the quote unquote ICOs on Terra, except it's not going to be ICOs, but it'll allow smaller projects to be able to launch their coins and be successful. And on top of that, it'll actually allow other people getting into DeFi who are just scared to, well, I wouldn't say scared, but are just unable to get some UST in a easy way. So now they can actually bring their USDC onto Terra, make the quick swap and not have to pay the gas fees on Ethereum. That is a buffer to some people. Now, I know you guys are asking yourself like, why the snap would a liquid LBP be bullish for the Terra ecosystem? Well, take a look at Perpetual Protocol. We're just gonna give you guys an example of this. Let's just go to perp right now to show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you guys go on to the chart for perp, yeah, it's down a little bit, but let's, let's zoom out. Perp originally started as a LBP. This thing launched around 50 cents a coin. And when it was launching, it actually didn't just like dump and die in dust is because, well, with the liquidity bootstrapping pool, it was able to get more and more liquidity and it helps to create from massive dumpage because it's slowly releasing the coin and it, the pool is more weighted to the native assets itself. So it doesn't get a massive pump and it also doesn't get a massive dump. It's just steadily given out into the ecosystem. As you can see what is happening here. And then after people are like, wow, that was fun. Okay, now what? Boom off to the races. That's the point. It gets the token out there, similar to like what people do with airdrops. They want to get their token out there. So they just get it quick, get it over with. Everyone who gets the airdrop, they all dump it all on everyone and then they move on. But all their coins got distributed. That's how you can look at it like this. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for tuning in. And this will be launching in the middle of November. If you guys want to see what I'm doing in the different crypto ecosystems, what I'm farming, what I'm doing, there's a link in the description below for the Discord. Uh, would be honored to have you in there. If not, I understand. We got a Telegram link in the description below. You guys can jump in that. And I'll always be making these videos on YouTube. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's go ahead and leave you guys a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 20. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Be wise, and I think your father will be happy. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. And TLDR, I think this is going to be the catalyst for Terra. Um, not that it hasn't already pumped, but anyways, um, just remember what Curve did for DeFi with Ethereum. Y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.